Hey y'all, it's Rudy here. Listen, if you guys shoot Savage, you're probably pretty happy, but you will know that if you have a 111 long range hunter, there was a plastic or rubber coating on it that really made it an eyesore. You can see right here where this stuff is starting to peel. And I think they, the factory put it on to be grippy, but it, in, in the end, it ended up just peeling and being real ugly. So I ended up drawing an elk tag in Unit 51 in New Mexico rifle, my first rifle tag. So this is my 300 Win Mag, and I haven't had an opportunity to hunt with it quite yet. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to take this rifle, I wanted to do a bed job on it, I wanted to build a 190 grain round for it, and I wanted to give it a paint job so it looks better. So I'm going to take you guys through that process. So I had a real good friend of mine do a, a nice bed job for me. You can see that the AccuStock itself already has an aluminum bed block um, but I really wanted to secure that recoil lug in there gives the action a real nice firm fit in the stock and the accu stock itself really does not feel like a Tupperware stock you know I can I can try to bend and manipulate this stock but it's not gonna bend as you would get with some other factory stocks that doesn't have that aluminum spine so that's step one Step two, you can see if, you, if you've ever owned a 111 long range hunter, you'll know that this has like a, a nice, what was supposed to be a nice rubber grip on it, but literally after just a few uses, that stuff starts peeling off pretty ugly. So what I've decided to do is I'm going to sand all this stuff off and then I'm going to do a, um, a hydro dip with some Krylon. We'll see how that turns out. One of the other things that I'm not really a big fan of is stippling. So you can say that this one right here, these factory stocks come with some stippling. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to sand it down a little bit and then I'm going to use filler primer to fill it in. And then I'll sand it even and then it should present with a nice smooth finish when I'm done. All right, so having sanded this stock down, trying to get that rubber plastic laminate off and then rinsing with water and then letting dry thoroughly, this is what we got. I hope that all the rubber is off. But what I'm gonna do now is tape this off and then use that filler primer to fill in the stippling and then I'll sand it again to make it even again I'm not a real big fan of the stippling or anything like that I just want this to be a smooth barrel or a smooth stock and uh, take out all of this groove and inletting or stippling uh, before I paint it so All right, here we are, day two. Did some filler primer, and I'm not really sure that I'm going to be 100% happy with it, but we'll see where we're at. All right, so clearly filler primer was a bad idea. Maybe I didn't let it set long enough. Um, so I ended up buying Bondo, and I'm just going to Bondo it and see how it comes out. Hopefully it'll have a, you can see, still kind of gummy. I don't know what the, what the hardening radi ra ratio or rating is, so let's try again. <laughs> I went ahead and used Bondo, Auto Bondo, to fill the stippling in. And it worked a whole lot better than the filler primer. 
nice and smooth, even. And once I put paint primer on there, it should fill in any imperfections. All right, got what I think of my last coat of primer on there. Definitely still some imperfections and nicks and cuts in there, but I, I'm not worried about that. I'm gonna try to get a good, uh, a good coat of paint on there and uh, a nice hydro dip, and hopefully I don't screw things up. And I'm pretty happy with the way it came out without the uh, stippling and everything. I just wanted a smooth stock, so let's check it out. <clears throat> so this was my test board the other day and I was kind of going for black and silver marbled look mm, you know it kind of it kind of had a cool effect there probably too much green um, obviously you wanted to kind of accent some of that tacticam look but I think we're gonna go ahead and go with that color scheme just want to make sure that this is gonna That this is going to fit. Looks like it will, just barely. Ah, moment of truth. some more black in there. All right, so we are done with the prep work and the paint job on my 300 Win Mag. And I have to say, I was kind of hoping for like a marbled spider web effect, with exception to a few spots that are kind of. I didn't get a whole lot of acrylic or uh, protective enamel there but came out pretty good 
you can see that this is where the stippling was originally and had a whole ton of stippling here. Yes, I have some imperfections, but that Bondo worked perfectly and it's just solid. I grabbed it a little too soon. I got some thumbprints in there, so never want to break the law with this rifle, but man, it came out cool. And that was the color scheme I was kind of going for, you know, trying to match some of the gear I use, Tacticam. And I am freaking happy with it.